Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video of Game Game Linux. This time around I'm going to be showcasing Fallout 76 running through Steam Play Proton. This was released only a couple of days ago on Steam, 14th of April, and it retails at £35, which is pretty expensive. Uh, it's been on the Bethesda store for about a year now, um, but when it came onto Steam it got the Wastelanders DLC, uh, or should I say free LC. Which brought uh, NPCs to the world. Believe it or not, they weren't a thing in the original release of the game. Um, but first things first, I'll let you know that I did use a custom Proton version called Glorious Eggroll. And it's very simple to use. I'll leave links in the description on how to get this installed. Um, it's it's all listed on the, the page. It's, ve it's very... It's very easy. The reason I'm using the custom Proton version is the fact that uh, sounds weren't working uh, with the normal uh, Proton version. It's so, like gunshot sounds and stuff like that. Um, but with this version, it seems to all be running good. Um, but yeah, it seems like a very good game so far, like in my personal opinion. Uh, the game... Oh, hello. Who's that? Oh, it's actually some people. Harry asked 1980. Oh, what's happened? No. Hey. Who's shooting? Got one. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously Fallout 76, one of the things you can do is you bump into random people in the world. And uh, I've done this a bunch of times, and every time I've bumped into people, they all seem friendly. And you can engage in combat in them, uh, with them. But the game has a thing in place where uh, full damage isn't received unless both of you... Uh, until both of you basically start firing. Which is... I think that's a pretty neat way to... Kind of prevent people from uh, firing upon seeing another person, and it seems to have worked so far. Um, but yeah, the the game had a really terrible launch. I'm not gonna lie, um, I couldn't have imagined playing this game without NPCs. Like, a, <laughs> it feels like a normal Fallout uh, Fallout game because there is people in this world now, like NPCs that you can speak to, and they give you missions. There's um, events like daily events, which is pretty good. Uh, which give you like atoms. I'm sure these atoms can buy. Uh, so if we go in here, you've got the atom atomic shop. And you got all the stuff that's in here basically. Um, hey, what's all this? Why is this free? Wow. Is everything free? Is it free? The hell? Not for free? Oh, maybe it was a bug. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a bug. Um, but yeah, if you go in here, so there's stuff like uh, Fallout First. Um, this is Pooh. Uh, there's your atoms. So Fallout First is a subscription plan where you can run a private server and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know what else it does. What is it? You get... There, there you go. You get a survival tent, you get a bunch of atoms every month, uh, an outfit, emo emotes, private worlds. Uh, I mean, like, you want. Uh, so the private server, I think, I think anyone should be able to use. But I, I'm not too bothered because you come into a, a, a server just with random people like that that don't really attack you. Oh. Honestly, not that bad. Yeah, like I said, it, it's had a terrible launch, but from me playing it yesterday with a bunch of my friends, we we really enjoyed it. We played for like six hours. And yeah, it's, it's just it's good fun. It's just like playing... It's just like playing Fallout, but with your friends. Right. 
Get out of here, mate. More spots, try to get. They come to me in droves, aren't they? Hey, you, where you at? Oh yeah, one thing to mention is that that's is a thing still in this game. Uh, it's a lot different to ordinary vats because obviously it's still all real time. You can like activate it. I wonder if I can activate it here. Yeah, see, so it's it's still real time. Uh, it's just like an aimbot, really. So once I get closer to him, I could just like oh oh, jeez, I didn't see these guys. Yeah, see like that. <laughs> I just shoot. It just uses AP points at the bottom right. It's I I rarely use it because I kind of forget that it's a thing. I guess it's just nice to have when you feel like you're missing a lot of shots. Where did their bodies go? So this is how they did it previously. So you'd find a lot of voice notes through the world. Oh, toilet paper, I need that. <laughs> Pandemic. I know it's tough to walk through um, and just Yeah, so they used to do well, uh, lots of voice tapes and notes around the world that you read. <laughs> um, rather than having NPCs. Actually baffles me how, how they thought that that would be a good idea. Yeah, you can craft your own weapons and stuff. It's pretty nice. Um, and you can modify the weapons, so if I go switch to modify. Uh, wait, to keep Exit. See here, it says modify, repair, scrap items. <coughs> so if we go modify, you find all my weapons and then... Yeah, you know, like I say, you can just you know, add a long barrel. I don't actually do that because it adds a bunch of range. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Oh yeah, and there is more of a survival aspect in this game in that you had to drink and eat food. Uh, you grab like loads of horrible water from around the world, and then just just boil it. It's very, very easy. Same for food. Yeah, you kill animals around the world, um, even as part of uh, missions, like wolves and stuff. Um, so. Let's kill them, grab the meat. Could do that in previous games, but grabbing meat and stuff wasn't such a priority. Meat only just gave you, like, <coughs> buffs. And yeah, this is why I couldn't imagine the game being good before the NPC. Like, this is a boring mission, you just... Are this? Yes. This is mine now. I use up all my bullets. God damn it. God. Yeah, kind of like you receive items like that from. Quite nice. Yeah, I mean, really enjoying this so far. Like some of the missions like that are, are pretty crappy because it's still the old missions from Fallout 76 and it doesn't involve any NPCs. Is that mine? Yeah, I've, I, so far I'm finding this. Port side. Oh, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Oh, hello. Yeah, ammo. Yeah, there's a lot to explore, as you can see. Big boy. Players down there. Surface to air. Guys are pretty high level. This is quite a lot of people in the world. It's quite nice. It's it's nice that there's just people just roaming around, just minding their own business. Bruising. 
you've got lower levels here because obviously you start around here. So. There you go. So, a lot of the lower levels usually cruise around here. Slayers so Glove 5, 13, 7. And me, obviously. Yeah, I think you can get power armor and stuff as well, which would be really nice to get at some point. I'll certainly keep an eye out for that. Yeah, so far so good. Radio does work as well, I just haven't been busy. Be right. Go to camp. Make your own camp and obviously your own weapons workbench and bed and stuff. And you can put it in a random place and then you can transfer it as well, which is if you don't like the place that it's in originally. You just pick it up. Yeah, if you if you are unsure about it then I'd honestly wait. Handcuff, nice. I'd honestly wait for a sale. Um, I was pretty shocked that it went on sale for £35, um, considering it's been on the Bethesda store for about a year now. I thought it would be at least like £20 or something. But yeah, uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe for future links content, and peace the hell out. See you later.